What are you doing wandering around? I'm making sure you guys aren't causing any trouble. I see. You're wandering around so you can cause some trouble. Uh, no, I said... Eh, never mind. I'm so glad that Estelle's back. And that we didn't have to kill her. Yeah, I feel the same. If we hadn't been able to bring her back, would you really have killed her? Why do you ask? Because... I don't know, is what I'd like to say. But if Estelle hadn't heard my voice when she did, I probably would have killed her. How can you go to such lengths knowing it's going to hurt you? Estelle's my friend, and I can't let a stranger take care of my friend's problem. Besides, I'm not the one who it hurts the most. A friend's problem? Yuri, you're really strong. Strong, huh? I don't know about that. But what about you? Did you forget your search for the Maristella? Right now, I'm focusing on beating the bad guys. Besides, I haven't forgotten. If anything, I've got a great memory. A great memory, huh? Uh... What's wrong? Y Yuri, I... I'll never forgive Alexei. Sacrificing someone for his own desires, I could never forgive that. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why, um... We can't let Alexei get away with what he's done. No, he can't. Oh, right, Yuri. Guess what? The Maritime Guild, Gulsong, is rushing to fix our ship. Gulsong? Isn't that Tokunaga's guild? Yep. We'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. Alright, then we'll use that to take Alexei down. Of course! So, uh, Yuri? Patty. Huh? If you're having difficulty saying it, there's no need to force yourself. I'll listen when you're ready to talk, so go get some sleep. Good night. He's actually sleeping. Man, I can't tell if he's brave or just stupid. Weren't you gonna have a touch and reunion with your bestest pal? No, it's that lieutenant of his. Whew, she's scary. Hmm? Oh, well, I guess I can see that. What do you mean? Ah, huh, well, it's just... she's so serious. Gotta be careful not to rub her the wrong way. I'm not rubbing anything anyway. Well, you most certainly can't please all the people all the time. <laughs> I guess you're right. So what are you doing here? Oh, just thinking about stuff. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? With all we've been through, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I should do with myself. But I keep coming up empty. Change wears me out. You chose your own life. At this point, you should be able to do anything you want. How do I put it? I already died once. Now I'm thinking about a bunch of stuff. But I guess thinking about settling things with Alexei is enough for now. The rest will probably come out in the wash. That sounds okay to me. Speaking of settling things, I filled Estelle in on all the stuff that happened. Guess what she did? Hmm? She said I had to let her do the same thing everyone else did. So she smacked me on the head, 
called it even. <laughs> That's Estelle. It kind of hurt, actually. Well, I think I'm gonna catch my shut-eye in here. Suit yourself. Try not to oversleep for once, though. This will bring the value back down, so the discrepancy with this should... <sighs> nope. It's nowhere near enough. Yuri! What are you all doing out here? Shut up and leave me alone! Oh, it's you. Nice to see you too. So what kind of experiment is this anyway? Is something wrong? No, it's being kept well under control, and it's stable. As annoying as it is to admit, Dane Nomos and this system of Alexei's are both pretty amazing. So then where's the problem? The effective area of control is more limited than I thought. The control barrier originates at the barrier Blastia. She's stable inside it, but she can't leave. I guess Dane Nomos alone couldn't take the place of all those Apatheia. So long trips are out of the question. Also, the Barrier Blastia is part of the system. As long as it's in use, this city is defenseless. That's why I'm out here trying to figure out a way for her to move around freely. Why can't Estelle just take Deinomos with her wherever she goes? It was really only designed to contain air that's gone out of control. I don't think it could actually affect Estelle in any way. I guess that's how it was with Duke, too. Don't worry, I'll come up with something. Or my name isn't Rita Mordio. I won't let Estelle wind up trapped like that again. Nobody treats my friend like just some thing. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Nothing to worry about. You've got the best genius under the sun with you. Yes, I know Rita can help me. I'll have this ready by tomorrow. You get yourself to bed. Okay, okay. Don't push yourself too hard. Same to you, Estelle. What are you doing, Judy? 
I'm trying to see if I can contact Pharaoh again. If Zaude is connected to the ancient catastrophe, Pharaoh might know something about it. Isn't he gonna ask about Estelle? I'll tell him it looks like everything will be okay. All right, thanks. You know, the only real goal I've had in life has been to destroy the Hermes Blastia. I didn't have to think about other things while I was doing that. Other things? Oh, this world. Me. Lots of things. Had I never met Estelle, I might still be flying around with Ba'ul, not thinking of anything. Pharaoh said you'd change too. Don't get me wrong. I'm telling him Estelle will be alright because I really believe it. I have no intention of ignoring the Blastia or the air. Is that part of the lots of things you mentioned? <sighs> Sorry, forget I said that. I won't kill Estelle. Nor will I let her be killed. I also can't let Alexei go on. Okay. We head out tomorrow morning. Just get back by then. Understood. Judy. Hmm? Let's win this one. Okay.
What's up, Carol? Oh, Yuri! Take a look! It's as good as new! Good to see you're as useful as ever. That's not yours, though, is it? It's mine! Thanks. This boy's been fixing up all the stuff that got knocked around in that commotion. He even went back to the lower quarter to pick all these things up. <laughs> Actually, Repeat found most of it. These are my favorite shoes, and you can't hardly see where they got torn. This guy's awesome. He sewed up a dress that was very important to me. Thanks again for that. Are you sure about doing this, Carol? Tomorrow's the final battle. It's okay. I was actually a little worried. I couldn't really sleep anyway when I started thinking about the battle tomorrow. I just thought I might as well help out if there was anything I could do. <laughs> I didn't think Rapide would want to come help, though. I was a little surprised. He probably guessed what you were thinking. He doesn't just go along with anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, don't push your luck. Ah, oh, come on, Rapide. Oh, this boy's got a bright future ahead of him. You are looking at the esteemed boss of our guild. You might learn a thing or two from him yourself, you know. I walked right into that one. Memories support the heart. And our dearest possessions are the vessels for those memories. Thank you, young man. I'll just do a little more, and then I'll call it a night. Okay, just don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. Ready to call it a day. You coming too, Rapide? <clears throat> Tomorrow, we fight. Hope everybody can get some sleep. Going already? It looks like things here won't be settled for a while. I had hopes that we'd have the guild ships at our disposal. I heard they've been having some issues. It seems they've been unable to decide on a course of action since the Don's passing. It looks like I'll be one step behind you again this time. No hard feelings, no matter which of us gets to Alexei first, right? Oh yeah, are you done trying to get Estelle back? I mean, she's still a princess. And what about all that stuff with the Imperial Succession? The Council has chosen Yoder as their leader. For all intents and purposes, he's got their nomination for the throne. Hmm, okay. So that's why you don't need to chase her around anymore? That's not it. It's just that I've finally come to terms with the choices she's made for herself. Wow, you sure loosened up. Don't give me a hard time. It's something I've had to struggle with in my own way. Well, she'd be happy to hear it. I'll bring the problems of the air and the Blastia to His Highness's attention. He'll be able to come up with some way of helping, I'm sure. As for Lady Estelis, Yuri, you have my confidence. I appreciate it. Sorry for being such a pain. Well, I'm gonna get going. 
See you at Zaude. As far as anyone is concerned, the capital was retaken because of my efforts. It isn't just with this, though. No one even knows the things you've... No. That brave Vesperi has done. They don't even try to learn the truth. Are you really okay with that? Yuri? Yuri, you're such a sleepyhead. <sighs> Looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zaude. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed, by both into Lakea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alexei's at Zaude, and I'm really not in a mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success. But she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes. So I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? No. Estelle! Hey! Y you're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. 
Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle... There are still things I can do... for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you now, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time. Huh? Prince Yoder and Flynn too? My, what an honor for His Highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed, so the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here, but you civilians have shouldered it. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the Knights or for the Empire anyway. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. Huh? Your Highness? At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest Knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? But I... I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasane, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire, Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo. Join forces with the Guild brave Vesperia and stop Alexei. Yes, sir. You heard His Highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. Even if I refused, you'd still come along, wouldn't you? So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Zauda. That's already been handled, right, Judy? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. Oh, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep, we'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yep. Yeah. Wow! The hourglass is really amazing! The enemies just stop moving! Yeah, certainly makes it easier to win battles. You can get ready for what's next, attack enemies, change battle formation... And if we're having trouble running away from enemies, this makes it a cinch! Oh, and it even lets us keep enemies from running away! It's seriously awesome! Hourglass! Ugh. Personally, I find this way easier. Ugh.
form! You're dead in the water! Put some spirit into it! Hmm? What are you up to? Well, you know how Patty switches up her fighting style in the middle of battle? We thought we might be able to do the same thing, so we asked for a lesson. I don't think that's something that can be taught. You have to be born with a style that unique. No, Yuri! You start practicing with the others. You can never know until you at least try. I'm not so sure. Nonsense! Keep a positive mental attitude. Hmm, you could be right. Here goes. Cr critical form! Yuri, this is all your fault! <laughs> Choosing critical like that? I thought you played it cooler than that. Carolyn Raven, you owe me your gels for a while. Yuri, you get a thank you kiss. You... you were betting on me? So... Why are we here again? Don't we have other stuff to do? Well, we've come this far. It wouldn't hurt to just go and say hello to Pharaoh. I'm hoping he won't be around. <sighs> What's the matter, Patty? I haven't been in battle much at all lately. Am I of no use to you anymore? I think you may be taking things too hard. I'm completely useless to anyone. That's not true at all. You're our secret weapon, Patty. The ace up our sleeve. Really? The ace up our sleeve? Right. That means you have to hold back and wait for just the right moment. And right at that critical moment, you deliver. That's why we don't use you for trivial stuff. Wow. So you see, it's nothing to be glum about. Just make sure you're ready when we need you. You do have your work cut out for you. What's this? It's like a hole just opened up in the sky. Oh, that. It is a phantom rift. Pharaoh made it. What the hell is a phantom rift? Jormgen, the town where we met Duke, was an illusion that Pharaoh made. There wasn't anything left but ruins that second time we went there. It kind of makes sense if what we saw in Jormgen was from the same time as the ghost ship. Besides Duke, that is. Yeah, that's probably what happened. And you say Pharaoh made this thing? Yes. It seems like Pharaoh's not around here anywhere. He's not responding to my calls, either. Hey! What's going on here? No! Whoa! That stupid kid! Let's go! Carol, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. That was crazy. This is... Jormgen. Or the illusion of it that Pharaoh made. There's no one around. Could Pharaoh be here? Perhaps. Let's have a look around! So now we've got the gang back together. I'm so glad to be with you all again. Same here. Likewise! You must take care not to strain yourself. Remember, there's a limit to what we can do. You know, one step at a time. I... Huh? What's up? I think Rapide just welcomed me back. No, Rapide's already off over there. Should have seen that coming.
looks like Baol is back to his old self. There's plenty of air for him to absorb. He seems to have used it to heal his wounds. For all the trouble Alexei's caused, he's helping us out in some unexpected ways. That's not gonna get him off the hook, though. He can go wherever he likes. With Baul to help us, there's no place we can't follow. you here we're just travelers passing through I'm sorry but there is no longer an inn or any shops in this town are you here alone yes it's just me you wouldn't happen to be the sage would you the humans of this town once called me that huh but didn't the sage die Shh. this is an illusion Pharaoh made right so that would mean this is actually the Yormgen of a thousand years ago. Yeah, I wonder if the lack of a barrier blast here is the reason everyone else took off. How perceptive. Blastia cannot easily be acquired, nor do we have the clear Ciel crystal. The children of the full moon should never have signed the pact with the Intelikea. Pact? They agreed to bury most of the Blastia, with the children standing watch over the rest. In order to protect against the Atafagos. So then, the ancient civilization didn't collapse. It was sealed up. Well, I thought you were perceptive, but now I see you actually know nothing. W what? Supervising the use of Blastia? Doesn't that remind you of the Empire today? Well, Estelle is a child of the full moon, not to mention one of the heirs to the throne. Wait! So then the children of the full moon must have founded the Empire! Please, there is no need to speak in hushed tones. The pact will surely be forsaken. Unless, that is, all Blastia can be done away with for good. But people couldn't live like they do now without Blastia! A certain type of life can be led. Even without Blastia. Yeah, the inconvenient type. So it has always been. They come to depend on anything that eases the burdens of life. Yet even knowing that, you help the people of this town to build a barrier, Blastia? I too was poisoned by the desire for greater things. I couldn't ignore the convenience. Now what kind of a sage does that? To be a sage means only to be rich in knowledge. I, too, belong to the society of people. Being a saint isn't a prerequisite for leadership, then, huh? Well put. And the children of the full moon are no different. The role of supervisor will turn into one of absolute authority before long. Well, what does that mean? It's pretty clear if you look at what the Empire's become. Anyway, nothing remains in this village, not even Blastia. You are welcome to stay the night, if you don't mind the ramblings of an old man. Thanks. When someone as strong as Pharaoh tells you not to go messing with Zauda, it makes you wonder. I wish he'd use regular words when he talked, though. Definitely. If it's really all that dangerous, you'd think he'd want to make himself clear. Maybe it was something Pharaoh had difficulty expressing in his own way. He did take the time to warn us. That shows at least some concern for our well-being, right? You mean that maybe he's warmed up to us a bit? Yes.
looking at Flynn, I can say, there's a knight captain. But it's really hard to picture Raven in charge of a bunch of knights. I don't think it's possible until he gets rid of that shady aura he carries around. It could be that he's only concealing his knightly dignity to complete his disguise as Raven. I don't know if he and Dignity have even been in the same room together. <coughs> Captain Schwann was a man of grace and honor. His skills were renowned, which kept him on constant secret missions. Every knight knew his name, and nearly everyone envied his ability to carry out his duties with poise. Huh? Is that true? And while he was scrupulous, he knew how to care for those under him, so he always had their trust. After seeing three of them, I can see he was well-liked. The more I hear about him, the further he seems from that old man. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not Schwan. <laughs> when did he get here? Listen to yourselves, carrying on as though nobody's around. But sometimes you do say things that Captain Schwan would. You continue to carry his quality, however quietly. Knock that off, would you? So that's Zaude. It's huge. It's sort of shaped like a ring. Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. There's no way Alexei could fit that on his finger. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Whoa, look! Over there! Pharaoh. Pharaoh's one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. What processing speed? Is that the power Alexei was after? Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work, but at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh, thank you. I'd like to know one thing before we begin this battle. Just how strong is this Commandant? I heard he earned his knighthood when he won a royal tournament during the previous Emperor's reign. I got to cross swords with him once, and I didn't last more than three minutes. His title is more than mere decoration. His skill puts him well above his fellow knights. He's the strongest among them, huh? And don't forget, he's surrounded by his royal guard. None of this sounds very promising. Hey, we've got De Nomos, don't we? <laughs> Besides, we've been through all kinds of stuff together on this journey. Yeah, we're tighter than any kind of guard, royal or not. Alright, so say we handle the royal guard. It's still a coin toss in the end. I guess we'll never be too prepared when it comes to facing Alexei. Any error will likely cost lives. Right. We'll have to give it everything we've got.
Man, up close, this thing is bigger than I thought. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It's gotta be a Hopeland Blastia designed to threaten everyone in the world! It must possess unimaginable power. Hey, look! It's a ship! Is it the Knights? No. I can't believe they'd make it here this fast. It's probably the Royal Guard. That must mean... Yep, the entrance is closely guarded. They're swarming like sea roaches! There aren't that many. We could blow them away before they knew what hit them. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. Let's see if there isn't some other way in. <laughs> 